Hey. Hello. <laughs> okay, I'm already recording, so. All right. Welcome back to the Nightless Podcast <laughs> with Sarah. And Sabrina. This is crazy right now. Yeah, this is crazy. Obviously, we are in two different places. Yeah, everything is different now. Yeah. We're doing a Zoom thing. You know, the people, the crowds, the fans, and the masses have been wanting a video. They have been commenting. They have been begging. <laughs> so this is for everybody out there. This is for the fans, and we're glad to do it, and we're happy to be here. Yeah. <laughs> so there's like a gigantic update that we need to uh, that we need to cover it's, here. It's right. been so long. So first of all, I graduated, and congrats. I have a degree now. Double congrats. Thank you so much. Um, and then we went on a little trip, and then I moved out so <laughs> yeah so let's really bring it back to the last time we recorded I so I remember okay months ago <laughs> literally months ago <laughs> we were like all right let's go to the studio record a podcast and then we found out that the studio was closed forever yeah okay and so that <laughs> night we went home came home and mm-hmm. recorded one in Sarah's bed yeah um which I have not uploaded and that one there is a lot of editing to be done so you know yeah if the world sees that one that'll be a real gift for everyone. it'll be a treat <laughs> um so basically yeah and then um that really took the wind out of our sails yeah <laughs> for a long time yeah for honestly months um right. yeah and so and then Sarah graduated yeah we did a bit of traveling Sarah moved out and then Sarah moved out and then I felt that um we need this yeah yeah Yeah. I agree it's really crucial for us exactly yeah (laughs) so it's a little life update yeah so like how how do you feel these days post-grad like do you feel you know how people are like oh my god it's your birthday like do you feel different like oh my god you got a college degree do you feel different yeah okay I didn't until it came in the mail like Uh literally two days ago maybe and like now I have it like physically in front of me and my parents were talking about getting me like a frame to put it in and I was like that's crazy like I'm gonna be someone with the frame of their degree on Mm -hmm. a wall like that's wild yeah yeah but other than that I'm just chilling like I don't know my last semester wasn't very hard so it wasn't like a huge change like I only had one class so it wasn't crazy but yeah like having an actual degree is insane Uh so it feels a little different I feel a little more like fresh (laughs) Fresh. do you feel powerful yeah like that's really a, a box you can check off now you know yeah like I did it so (laughs) well you know drop a congratulations in the comments for sarah mom yeah (laughs) oh wait look we can make a heart in the screen oh my god oh my god thumbnail thumbnail (laughs) (laughs) all right so we can do that for the for the thumbnail yeah (laughs) So one of the topics that I wanted to bring up first, so this is kind of a conversation that Sarah and I have already had. Yeah. Uh, But for archival purposes, I wanted to do it in here, right? So I wanted, so, okay, Sarah moved out Mm. and that was a whole presence, you know, removed from my physical life, right? Mm -hmm. And I really felt it and, you know, Sarah and I got to spending a lot of time together, right? And yeah. so there's a lot of free time for me to just be alone again. Not that mm. I'm ever alone, you know, I have plenty of other roommates. Right. It was just, I felt this feeling of like me being in my own head more, right? Yeah. And so yeah. 
obviously that's sad and everything about that is sad yeah so you know I was trying to think of the good things that came out of it right and I think you know having my whole time the whole year that Sarah was around and then coming out of it and like feeling that shift Mm -hmm. just made me realize how much I like changed over the past year and how much Sarah was a part of that you know and so I want to talk about all the things I learned from Sarah and I mean Sarah like (laughs) you're just like I know it's so weird that we've already had this conversation but yeah I don't remember exactly how I put it but it's like you are you get along with everyone because Mm -hmm. you really make your personality you make who you are and how you act without pushing it onto anyone Mm -hmm. you're like this is like how I am and I'm gonna be and I mean and there's this whole like yeah forceful undercurrent of like prioritizing kindness Uh uh-huh that like lies under like you're just like awesome personality and the fact that you're not trying to like shove it down anyone's throat like everybody loves that I'm you just know? chill yeah, basically <laughs> what I'm saying is you just got like a chill vibe <laughs> yeah and so um yeah and then I don't know I was just thinking about how like you know these are attributes that I want to emanate in my life yeah right? um yeah, not pushing yourself onto people. I got to like learn that a little bit. And so we were talking about this mm-hmm. and we were having like an Erica Badu summer. Yeah, totally. And totally. then we're, we're listening to Apple Tree by Erica Badu and the lyric is, if you don't want to be down with me, you don't have to pick for my apple tree or something. Yes. What and, it's like whatever and that's exactly what this is yeah you're I love that song you are just like producing that fruit <laughs> and you're like if you don't want it don't take it but I'm yeah gonna it anyways I don't know and that just like yeah fit perfectly I feel very flattered right now hey even I though mean. we already talked about this and you know what's funny is we had this conversation and we were in the ocean we were in the water and then like 20 minutes later me and Sabrina are just like like slapping our bodies against the water to like make each other laugh it was so funny also why is that like one of the funniest things ever like people just like sending it jumping into water is hilarious oh my gosh you know that makes me think of huh that you know the video of the guys who like run and then they jump off this wall into the water and they're just yes like, yeah yeah, so yeah. <laughs> and I've seen so many videos of people like just like diving into pools like crazy and it's so funny it's so funny <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's baseline yeah it's like the lowest common denominator you know what I mean yeah, <laughs> yeah. but yeah I don't know yeah. And uh, there, there, I, there's still some uh, reflection I can do about all the things I learned from Sarah, you know? Yeah. I learned that I should be taking B12 from Sarah. Oh, yeah. You know? I got Sabrina on that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I learned a lot from you, too. Thanks. <laughs> like, how to always have fun. You know um, what I mean? We love that. We love to always have fun. Yeah. <laughs> but. Um, anyways, so before all of that kind of reflection upon myself yeah. and Sarah's exit, we went on a trip to Portugal. Portugal. Um, if if that if that one ever gets released, the one that you were talking about, I remember in that in that uh podcast so you were like Sarah's coming to Portugal and I was like I don't know yet but it Uh, happened it it happened (laughs) we're on the other side of that now (laughs) yeah yeah and we also went to Spain for a little bit which was so magical yeah so we are like so I had flights to Portugal for a long time Mm -hmm. just alone and I'm like just hoping that I can line up getting someone, getting Sarah to come with me, right? Yeah. And so I'm like, Sarah, hello. Like, 
get with it. Sarah had no passport. <laughs> and uh it was just I was feeling I didn't have one until a couple days before (laughs) yeah so you know put the pedal to the metal yeah got it done got the passport a couple days before we left like had tickets got the passport after yeah literally literally I bought the tickets and I like I had not like I had just put in my passport but the trip was in like a couple weeks and passports right now are supposed to take like seven to nine weeks and so I just like did everything I could and it worked out because you're a witch Mm -hmm. yeah so yeah then we hightailed it to Portugal Mm -hmm. I don't I don't feel like our flight traveling to get there was anything notable no like we just it it all worked out really well no Mikey dropped us off oh yeah it was in Miami Mikey drove us yeah and then he went and then he went thrifting all day after yeah Uh, he had fun yeah but yeah no like it was pretty straightforward Mm -hmm. and so we land in Portugal that same day so we landed in Lisbon which is the capital and that same day we took a five hour bus ride down to the south Mm -hmm. kicked rocks in the south for five days four days oh my gosh well we can talk about uh getting locked out we were at a hotel oh my god yeah yeah and it had a big pool and like a yard basically and it was on the edge of a cliff and then Mm -hmm. you can you know walk out of this gate and go down kind of onto the cliff and like it also led to this whole giant hike and um so we go out by the pool I don't even know what time it was it was like probably around midnight ish yeah it wasn't like super late Mm -hmm. but like the pool's definitely closed but the door was open so the pool's open yeah we go out onto the cliff Mm -hmm. not for very long and come back up and the door is closed yeah and then um and locked and everything is locked (laughs) and so there was like a bar on the third level or the second level or something and um we're like just yelling like help hey help us hello and and, like look over the edge and they're like and they'd be like okay i'll get someone (laughs) yeah and then we waited around for 20 minutes and then we realized that we could go back out onto the cliff around from the outside and in through the front door. Mm-hmm. We did that. We like, you know, it's been 20 minutes. So we assume maybe something's happening and someone's helping us. Maybe not. So we like run up the hill. And we like around. booked it. Like yeah. it took us probably like two minutes to like go up this whole hike and around to the front and get into the lobby. Yeah. And so I'm like, <laughs> we were just locked out but we're back now <laughs> and they were like oh well security's looking for you and I was like sorry I don't I don't know we waited we waited, we waited. Fast enough. yeah I didn't care I felt like really bad but they were so nice about it yeah they were really nice but it was just so embarrassing, <laughs> was embarrassing. like we got locked out at the pool yeah. and it was like us yeah <laughs> Um, like two Americans would get locked out of the pool yeah um yeah so that was silly yeah but that was a really beautiful time that whole thing um, yeah we and did- like just went to the beach went on boat a boat tour like cliff jumping yeah it was awesome it was awesome um yeah a couple days later Mm -hmm. we bust it back up to Lisbon this bus ride was a little more interesting everything else was like fine this one was 20 minutes late but whatever was yeah it was like late by some account oh yeah 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 Um, Yeah. you're right back to Lisbon we um we met with my friends Gabby and Wallace shout out Gabby and Wallace if you're listening shout out to them you guys um yeah, hung out with them quite a bit. Yeah, out Lisbon for a few days, and then we were like, eventually, we were like, honestly, what are we gonna do in Portugal? Yeah. For and then and then Miss Sabrina goes, okay, what if we go to Spain? And I said, we could totally do that. We right. could totally do that. Yeah. So, and so we spent the whole day planning it, 
by midnight we got on a bus to Madrid yeah, <laughs> yeah. it was I, yeah we didn't even start that day early I think we we're gonna go to Lisbon that day and then yeah. the trains are on strike so that was a big you know yeah. wrench in our spokes right but um so we were like well I don't think the trains are on strike in Spain yeah so we got on a bus that very night we lined up you know a whole it was like bus to Madrid stay in Madrid for two days two nights or one night one night wow um bus to Barcelona stay in Barcelona for three days three days yeah two nights yeah and then was it only two nights or was it three I don't know listen I don't know hey (laughs) and fly back to Lisbon yeah yeah okay so that night when we planned all this we got on the bus it's nine hours and we figured if we bus overnight that's basically like and spending a night at a hotel two and one um our first bus ride this was a doozy (laughs) so I knew that the bus station in Lisbon at like the Lisbon airport was bad because I've taken it before and there's no signs for anything you never know what's going on and there's no way to know and nobody knows so you have to be hopeful so we got there super early and we were taking this uh Bulgarian bus company called Union Ivanki or something Mm -hmm. and uh you know we're like I don't know where we need to be so we were kind of just like looping around and I saw other people doing the same thing and I was like she doesn't know what she's doing I bet she's on her bus yeah and so eventually we collected 10 people who were all gonna be on the bus we were all like all just confused running around the bus station trying to figure out like where this bus was how Um, like where it would show up yeah it was like not one of the commercial ones like it wasn't like you know like like it didn't have its own stops at the station no no it was just this random bus and this again was at like midnight (laughs) um and we just had backpacks too which was yeah but eventually it comes it was late but it did come it was like 10 people on the bus we had tons of room to spread out Mm -hmm. Um, but there was the worst ac and no bathroom so yeah. we had we had to stop anytime someone had to pee we had to pull into a gas station and go pee yeah jeez uh, um, crazy anyways we woke up in spain we yeah. and then we fell in love with madrid we we fell in love yeah. with cappuccinos we fell in love with madrid we really like that was the like european experience that we were looking for you know yeah yeah and um so we're like looking around for things to do sarah's sister lived in madrid for a time yeah like a year yeah and so we had a whole list of cool things to do we went to fabulous museums there's a great park there yeah i think the most notable thing is the origin of the spanish magic would you like to tell the story oh yes okay so in this in the said a wonderful park that we ended up going to like seven different times by the way over the span of like two days we just kept ending up there um so we found out that there was a book fair going on and we're like okay let's just go there to walk around because we didn't really have anything else to do before our bus to Barcelona so we end up in this park again and we're going to leave to just do something else I don't know And earlier that day, we had been talking about how we really wanted to see live music somewhere. We're like, that would be so awesome. Like, that's exactly what I want to do. Whatever. Kind of forget about that. Go to the book fair. And then we're just like, we're literally skipping down the park, just like laughing um to like the exit of the park and we're just like skipping along like whatever and we literally skip up to a huge circle of like I don't know like 30 people at least Mm -hmm. um playing live music there was like a whole group of singers there was a whole group of guitarists there was a saxophone like drummers it was 
amazing. And when we skipped up one of the um, people who was just like sitting around and watching was dancing with one of the performers in the middle. Like they were just like doing a dance together. Yeah. And it was everything. That was really amazing. And yeah. so we and sat there. <laughs> yeah, we sat there for a long time. Mm-hmm. And we're like, okay, yeah, one more song and then we'll go. We were just sitting there enjoying it. Yeah. Um, so we get up to leave. We're walking away and we hear this one like guitar uh yes exactly and goes, hold on and I was like what did you because I didn't I wasn't really making the connection at that time uh-huh. and then we stayed and they were playing wish you were here by Pink Floyd mm-hmm. and I like it like I like felt it in the deepest part of my being and I uh-huh. cried for like 30 minutes yeah. <laughs> it was so beautiful it was amazing yeah and that I was, was like, like perfect and like the sun was setting uh, and it was just and the weather perfect. was perfect the whole time yeah. yeah and I was like you're telling me I have to go be somewhere else besides this right um and it is then we skipped out of the park and got on yeah. a bus to Barcelona yeah pretty much <laughs> And the bus system was way damn better in Madrid. Yeah. There, there's a TV screen everywhere. Bus 56 right here to Barcelona, you know. The second it got there, it was like early. It was early. Yeah, it literally was early. Yeah. Um. This bus had a bathroom and chargers and... And Wi-Fi, I think. Yeah, it did have Wi-Fi. Um, I don't remember how long that bus ride was, but that was lit. It was seven hours. Oh, and I like didn't sleep on it, but whatever. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that uh, again, we did it overnight, so as to spend like a night essentially rather than at a hotel. Mm-hmm. Uh, got to Barcelona. We, my cousin lives in Barcelona, so we saw her. She's mm-hmm. got an apartment there and a boyfriend that she doesn't like there. <laughs> and um, and uh, she took us to, uh, well, there's this place that I went to before, but it was like an open mic place, mm-hmm. which was super cool. And there was like some of these like Americans in there that were pretty charismatic. Um, mm-hmm. The main guy who was doing the open mic fell in love with Sarah. He totally he did. With Sarah. Yeah um we also went to a jazz club with my cousin one night uh so her friends cool. came to it was super cool like packed like sardines into this tiny little building and people mm-hmm. just playing the saxophone a bass there was a girl with a flute it was really magic um, yeah what else we saw we saw all the things that you need to see in barcelona yeah i'd say yeah um, pretty much and ovum but we don't really even have to get into that if you don't want to yeah i think i think we can bring up ovum another time and get into that fully okay uh just because we have so much to like catch up on for this one yeah we can press ovum in, in another podcast got it, got it, got it. um look out for that but <laughs> keep your ears open for that one yeah yeah <laughs> um yeah and then we flew out of barcelona back to lisbon Mm-hmm. Spent some time in Lisbon. Saw everything you need to see. Yeah. Et cetera, et cetera. And then, and then we went home. Yep. So. All right. And then it's Sabrina's birthday. Oh, yeah. And then it's my birthday. And he turned 21. Yeah. Woo-hoo! So that's awesome. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh. I just have one thing to say and then let's get into the music. Okay. I was at Goodwill the other day. Uh-huh. Okay. Goodwill has become like a secondhand shop for sheen clothes. Yeah. There is so much fast fashion. Like, I mean, granted, there's plenty of nice stuff, but there is so much trash there. Mm-hmm. And it's sad. Yeah. And it's better that it's in Goodwill for someone to maybe get like, rather than literally in the away. trash yeah right. yeah no it's so true like it's not goodwill is not like like old clothes anymore i know which it makes sense right 
but it just like put on blast There's so much Shein. it put on blast how bad like they're just making so many clothes every day and they're all gonna they all have to end up somewhere right and like yeah. I mean I'm just seeing the ones that are getting donated you know I don't, yeah like, it also like blows my mind that it's people so throw bad. away clothes like I've never thrown away clothes I feel like I always donate everything I had to throw away my shirt from the canoeing trip we also went on a canoeing trip oh yeah <laughs> oh yeah okay well that was like trash yeah it was it it was a white t-shirt and it rained and now it's like it's in my trash right now but it's like brown <laughs> yeah <laughs> like it's just it's just disgusting so well, that dude, one had to go that canoeing trip was so awesome it was so fun okay well should we talk about that and then get into the music yes <laughs> okay so um my mom was like hey y'all to me and my brother she was like hey y'all uh our cousins are organizing this like canoe trip where you like kind of just float down a river camp for the night and then the next day canoe like a little bit back and I was like oh my god so fun canoeing and camping like that's awesome and then Sabrina came with me yeah yeah because you're telling me about this awesome canoeing and camping trip and I'm yeah like, I'm like oh my god that sounds so fun I would love to do that yeah and then I was talking to my mom about it I was like yeah like um I was telling Sabrina and she said it sounds so fun and <laughs> <laughs> and she was like Sabrina can come and I was like for real and she was like yeah and I was like okay let me invite her and so and I did and I'm so grateful and it was like it was like 30 people uh-huh. like so many canoes me and Sabrina were in a canoe together obviously mm-hmm. so and I was the DJ obviously and I was the DJ the whole time and um yeah and it was so it was so fun to like play music the whole time because I felt like I really got to like create a good like vibe for everyone yeah I mean granted people couldn't hear it most of the time but when they could my like my like mom's cousins who are like in their 50s would be like I Sarah good music like keep it up like yeah and one of them would like yell at me from across the campsite and be like this this song is so good like whatever <laughs> Yeah. So that was really awesome. It was awesome. I really felt like I said this when we were there, but I really felt like a human in the world. Yeah. You know, I like mm-hmm. we were just like we we're like, okay, these two days we're just being on the river. That's it. Yeah. You know? And so yeah. we're canoeing along. It starts like downpouring like a giant storm. And we're just like it doesn't matter nobody cares that they're getting wet you've already signed yeah. up to be wet <laughs> right <laughs> and so yeah. yeah and it was it was really fabulous it was really awesome and so fun and yeah so shout out to molly and helen if you're listening to this yes thank you well <laughs> we talked about us having a podcast a lot on it oh yeah because molly was advertising us yeah she made <laughs> us feel famous yeah she was telling everyone like that was like the one thing that everyone would like come up and talk to us about was that we had a podcast yeah so, shout out to molly for yeah, that so that was awesome to everyone from the canoe trip who's watching this right now because of that advertising hi hey Hello. <laughs> <laughs> okay let's get into the music we have a really yeah. fabulous topic this week it is our favorite NPR Tiny Desk concerts, or I don't know, favorite, just most notable, could be favorite. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, maybe. Yeah. All right. Take All right. One. So my NPR is Erica Badu, of course, because, okay, so I was thinking of, I'll give a shout out to Anderson Pack because- <laughs> His is so, so good. And I have really been wanting to bring him onto the podcast, but hasn't like, but then I rewatched this of Erica Badu and I was like, 
this is the one yeah wait i just want to say i am running out of time i have 10 minutes left okay also real quick should i like talk about her (laughs) yeah i have a whole thing on mine okay so i'll just try to do i'll just try to get the erica stuff done and then we can do the screen recording and then you know yeah yeah do another one yeah okay Okay. sorry so go (laughs) so her real name is erica abby wright um and badu like that part just came from her favorite scat sound by the way which is just cool and like silver yeah um that's so jazz core um no for real she's from dallas texas she's a pisces and she's 52 Right. Um, many people call her the queen of soul, neo soul, which is real. Um, and she started freestyling on the radio when she was fourteen. That's so that's cool. so fun. That's so cool. Um, and with this NPR, this will be like very relevant. Like, like you'll be able to tell, but she went to college for theater. Mm. And so, like, in this, in this NPR, like, she's really, like, like, acting, you know, like, she's singing and acting out how she feels, you know what I mean? Uh So, I thought that was interesting, because I was like, yeah, I totally see that for her. Uh Um, Her first, her first demo that she recorded was called Country Cousins, (laughs) and it had 19 songs, and it eventually got her, her record deal, like she country started cousins a demo called country cousins <laughs> dude when i found out that she was from texas i was kind of flabbergasted yeah right like yeah. but then once you know it's like yeah cuz like also she talks about it all the time mm-hmm. um she's a vegan fun she fact be- makes sense she became a vegan in 2006 you actually told me this but she's been divorced five times which is just crazy I would like expect her to be the t- well. I mean, I could see it both ways, but I feel like she'd be the type to like fall in love hard once, and that's it. But right? I get maybe I get the jumping around from her. Yeah, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure she like has like a she has a man now that like yeah she has a boyfriend now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um. So her first album was released in 1997 prior to being vegan she wasn't vegan yet (laughs) (laughs) prior to the iphone actually too yeah Yeah. and since then she's released six albums won four grammys and been nominated for 19 um and one of the things that i like love about her is that she like puts a lot of like intention into her music and like really like like she like gets you feeling some way and like she just does everything so beautifully and so like authentically Mm -hmm. just love her um and she puts frequencies in the production of her songs to make you feel a certain way so kind of like forcing you to be chill in a way uh which is just so cool um yeah, and I just have that she's was super prominent in nineties and early early two thousands R and B and soul. Love, love, love her. And I watched this video of her, not not the NPR one, but um, it's called "Chilling with Erica Badu" or with Erica and Reggie by Mark Rebier. And Mark Rebier is a producer, and they just like like chill at like a studio that he has and just like make music on the spot and like it's so it's so like weird and cool and like they're just like you can tell they're like truly just being themselves and doing what they love and it's a really good video it is an hour long but I think it's worth it yeah you've told me about it yeah and he has another video with her called the night I met Erica Badu and it's like one of the weirdest videos I've ever watched. Uh-huh. <laughs> but also in a way it's beautiful because like they're just being so like Real. like and, and her and this guy like they are like on the same like 
like they like both get it like because I feel like she's a very unique person no doubt and so like it takes it it takes a special a special person to like really feel like he's on the same wave and vibe as her and they like just make music together and it's so like cool and it feels so natural but it's all like improv Mm -hmm. so yeah like I I could not be in the same room as Erica Badu no and he and in the video, the night I met Erica Badu, he's like staring directly at her, like staring into her eyes while they're like just like like making up this music together. It's wow. really cool. So that's awesome. Yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say on that. And this um NPR video is just like so beautiful. And like like I said, I watched it and I was like, I've rewatched it again. Because uh-huh. I saw this like years ago right. and I rewatched it and I was like, yeah, this is the one. Like, it's just, she's just everything. Yeah. Obviously, so we can't actually show the video because YouTube won't like that. Yeah. So we'll play it. Maybe we'll play it just from the middle somewhere. I do. I do want to, I do want to play the very beginning part though. Okay, we'll play the very beginning. We'll look at some pictures of Erica. Yeah. And um, jump around in the video a little bit. But yeah, yeah no, Erica Badu, like, something happened recently. Like, I've known Erica Badu for years now, but mm-hmm. something happened where she was the only thing that I could listen to for, like, a couple weeks. Yeah. It's just so good. And I like music that makes me feel cool when I listen to it, you know? Yeah. And it just feels like, ah. Oh. So let's get into the music then. Peace and love. How y'all feel? Mm-hmm. Sisters, how y'all feel? Yeah. Brothers, y'all all right? Yeah. Well, my name is Erica Badu, also known as Badula Oblingata. Also known as Cerebellum, also known as She-Ill. Also known as Manuela Maria Mexico. Also known as Ed Fat Belly Bella. Yeah. And welcome to the Tiny Desk by way of Apple Tree Cafe. I'll be your host this evening. On bass, we got Brother B. We got Kenneth on sax. We got Keon on trumpet. Dwayne Kerr on flute. Back behind me on percussion. That's Frank Mocha on drums this evening. That's the heartbeat of the situation. That's my son, Seven. I'm just kidding. That's not Seven. His name is Delta Nine, they call him Good Foot. And on keys, upright piano. This is my MD. We've been together for years and years, all of us. His name is R.C. Williams. You know what I want? I want a rim shot, ayy, diggy diggy, the rim shot, ayy, come on. A rim shot, ayy, diggy diggy, the rim shot, ayy, come on. I want a rim shot, ayy, diggy diggy, the rim shot, ayy, come on, rim shot, ayy, diggy diggy, the rim shot, ayy, come on. I came to hear the band today, I ain't thinking about you, I came to hear my drama play, boom, clack, boom, clack, I'm in love with you. I, I wish we could show the video it is so raw you know it's so good and she's just like everyone go watch it yeah so well weird. this I will make a point to link yeah <laughs> it's really like she it's so raw she's with her people and I mean Tiny Desk kind of like sets up this whole concept to be raw like that but yeah. I don't know it's just, and she has so she much really- fun with it too yeah like she really made it a whole whole performance Mm -hmm. um which like no shade but like like just like some of the other ones I've seen have not brought this much like of a presence yeah 
as this as this crazy girl does definitely (laughs) and like she you know she really has quite a few people with her in here Mm -hmm. and I also look I'm kind of matching her right now yeah butterflies right Uh uh-huh well I think she has bees in her hair but whatever you know bugs my swords yeah (laughs) um bugs yeah I don't know I think there there it is there it is yeah I think it's such a valuable thing for tiny desk concerts when you have a bunch of people there one person if it's just one that could be raw too but when it's a bunch it just it feels so cozy and it makes the tiny desk feel tiny you know yeah yeah and also it just feels like like they have their like people with them you know what I'm saying yeah like it's just fun yeah also in that video okay wait go back to her like her the tiny desk can you see her hands oh no you can't because there's one there's one part where she she uses okay so you see how she has all those like crazy metal rings Mm -hmm. there's one part where she starts using them as an instrument yeah like like the music is just in her you know yeah yeah that's awesome it's really incredible and one thing that's really interesting to me about hers is that this video is 15 minutes long but she only does two songs in it yeah that's crazy because she does rim shot first and then green eyes but the version she does of that is like over 10 minutes long Uh because she just like really like slows it down and like like make sure you feel it you know you know people thought that taylor swift invented the 10 minute version Mm -mm. no uh, no no it was her it it was was her all along it was miss badu yeah yeah fabulous and and just like her vocals are incredible and it's just she's like very like present in there and the visuals are super cool too i mean it's just great yeah yeah Yeah. amazing definitely watch it we'll link it yeah love that but Sabrina I'm really excited to hear about yours okay I'm so excited too so I was just perusing the NPR Tiny Desk concerts and I came across this one apparently they do this thing they've been doing it for I guess three years or something global fest where it's like Mm -hmm. Tiny Desk but from all these different places and this one just from the first second that you see her hit me yeah this they're in like a tent sitting on couches Mm -hmm. you know there's all kinds of crazy instrument these people it's just like so cool and so this woman her name is Nora Mint Somali she's from Mauritania Uh where they speak Arabic Mauritania is the 11th largest country in Africa out of the 54 total um it's in the northwest with a coastline in the west and it borders a whole bunch of countries um actually I think I have a little map here yeah there it is Mauritania okay which frankly I hate to admit this I'd never heard of it before yeah big country yeah it is really big and so I read this whole bio and it's honestly very interesting but I um shortened it up for the viewers here um so she was born into a prominent line of moorish girat so i'm like okay what is that right yeah so moorish it's a people the moors they're a muslim people of northwestern africa who actually occupied the iberian peninsula between the 8th and 15th century the iberian peninsula is spain and portugal right Mm -hmm. and so there's actually this giant a uh, Moorish castle really close to where my house is in Portugal. Unfortunately, we didn't visit it, but I've been there before. Super dope. Yeah. So that's what Moorish is. And then a Girat is a West African historian, storyteller, poet, or musician. Okay. okay. So she comes from this line of like, you know, religious musicians and storytellers, right? Mm hmm. Uh, so she's pretty up she's like set up pretty well for success right yeah um so she started singing alongside her mom when she was 13 and her mom was like a total musical legend in Mauritania already 
Um, her dad literally developed the first system for Moorish uh, musical notation and composed tons of music that his wife popularized. That's um, crazy. So that's like her, where she came from. Anyways, she marries this guy who's all about like psychedelic guitar riffs and lines. <laughs> and okay. they created a fusion band in 2004. Ooh. So uh, this video that's like- so interesting. Yeah, this is like video took me away from when I first saw it. Uh, I just think her whole aesthetic, visual and musical is like mesmerizing, right? Yeah. It's like the music is cool and retro and like- and she's badass this lady yeah so she um, looks super cool yeah it's um, like i wish i could show the video but here we go I just love this. I don't know. The whole yeah. thing I think is so cool. The music, though apparently you couldn't hear it very well, is super yeah. interesting. It's just like she's just bringing could... vocals. Uh huh. There's a weird psychedelic guitar going on. Yeah. What instrument is she playing? So that is called a Ardine. Okay. Ardine. Ardine. This is the whole Wikipedia page on it. <laughs> so that crazy, right? Type of heart played in Mauritania, resonating body made of something, you know. Yeah, gourd. It's made of a gourd with six, ten to sixteen strings, played by female girots, which we defined earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and so this is the whole Wikipedia page, and the picture on it it's is a her. picture. It's her. her. Yeah, that's really really cool right and i thought this was interesting that it's played only by females yeah i just thought that was pretty cool yeah um, yeah so um, you know i had to do a little bit of research about mauritania mm -hmm. about this harp she is just so cool i like and yeah like, just scrolling through these pictures i mean like the aesthetic here like this I just, I don't know. Yeah. I just love it. I just love it. This picture, I just think it's so cool. That it's is really, really, really cool. And I just love her. And is that her and her husband? I'm um, saying. Couldn't tell you. Couldn't okay. say. But maybe. I mean, look, he's put, he has like the little guitar in the next one over. Yeah, so it could be. I don't know. It could be him. But yeah, I just. That's really awesome. I know. I yeah like, i'm gonna have to go watch that whole thing definitely it's because that's so cool so they do like a global like yeah let's see global fest for the third year online music festival i guess you know this that's is really cool election. Got uh, 19 videos in this collection here. Uh-huh. And some of them are like an hour. The Most of them are an hour. Yeah, this one's only 17 minutes. Also, she only does three songs in the 17 minutes. So kind of similar thing. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, I do. I think this is her husband's name. Okay. Let's see. Whoops. Um, where'd it go? Yeah, this this word. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's that was me. that's awesome. Yeah. That's so cool. I just it's and I've listened to this whole thing through just like a couple many times and since I found it and I've just been that was great the whole time. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's awesome. So I just have a website that I want to pull up. Otherwise, okay. I don't have much more to say. If if you have anything, I. So I have two things. One of them, like, I don't really need to expand on. It's just something that's been making me, just been annoying me recently. Okay. <laughs> Is TikTok filters. Ooh. Can we chill with that, please? Are you talking about, like, the realistic ones? Any of them. Any of them. Any of them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Um, I agree, man. I especially the ones that are just like a little bit of like smoothing over your face. I'm like, can we just uh -huh. get in touch with reality really quick? And then there's the aging filter that everyone's using right now where it shows you when you're old and like uh -huh. some people are like chill about it, but other people are like, Oh my god, I need to start like doing this and this, like whatever. Right. It's like it's literally a filter. Yeah. And like just like like honestly this might make me delete tiktok which is a good thing because i just scroll through and it's all filters yeah i'm like this isn't like this isn't original anymore yeah and it's not making me laugh uh, and I'm just kind of over it you yeah. know so i just really had to get that off my chest yeah that's um, good yeah Okay, so actually I have three things. I lied. Good, great. What, what's up? <laughs> okay, second one being um, I've been on my psychic wave recently. Okay. And I kind of mentioned that earlier, but like, I don't know what it is. Like, I don't know. There have just been so many coincidences happening. I had a dream that uh, one of my friends got engaged. Uh -huh. And the guy's, like, name is, like, somebody that she's, like, it's, like, a family friend that she's always been, like, oh, I'm just going to end up marrying him mm -hmm. type of situation. Uh -huh. But I didn't, like, I, you know, so that was crazy. Time will tell if Should that we, happens. Yeah, right. Should we and, say the same word at the same time? Yeah. Okay, you ready? I mean, this is you reading my mind, okay? Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> okay. Ready? Three, two, one. Green. Huh? What did party. you say? Oh. I was going to say apple, which would be like kind of the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Um, continue. Yeah. And also I'm going to, I'm going to a show of a psychic in like a week and a half Where? in Fort Myers. Fort Myers. Why? How? What's the situation? My mom just invited me to go because <laughs> her and her friend are going. It's like his name is John Edwards and he's like a famous like psychic medium whatever and he just does these shows where you go and he'll like maybe call you out maybe not and uh, so her and her friend like made this plan to go and my mom invited me and so fun she would invite you this yeah fun. yeah so I'm gonna go <laughs> I'm gonna go see this guy that's awesome <laughs> John Edwards McGee Jr. no less yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. American television personality author and self-proclaimed psychic medium Mm -hmm. He was born in 1969. Yeah. Should we look at his Instagram page? Yeah. And I don't know. I've just been feeling very, like, witchy and psychic. Yeah. Also, like, really every 
every time I'm talking to a girl and I'm like, all women are witches, they all agree with me. And I think there's something to be said there. And because not, like, men wouldn't agree with that. Yeah. He doesn't have much. He's got 11 posts. Maybe I should be a social media manager. <laughs> <laughs> but take a medium, John Edward, for all info, is it... He will never DM you. He will never, DM you. <laughs> he will never ever DM you. John, the one thing about John... <laughs> There's one thing you need to know about John Edwards McGee Jr. You would never... <laughs> Yeah, you. That's so funny. Yeah. So this is John Edward. Awesome. And I'm gonna go see him. That is gonna be maybe, so funny. and maybe, and maybe he'll call out either me, my mom, or my mom's friend. You're going to this one. Um. Mm-hmm. So his Tampa show is sold out. Yeah, because we were gonna go to the Tampa one, but it was so, sold out. This isn't so BS really at all. But... No. Like the people love him. Wow. Wow. I don't really know anything about Staten him. Island sold out. 10 person Zoom. Yeah. You know how much Zoom ones. Yeah. How fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I'm about to find out about him. And if like any of my like dead relatives are trying to talk to me. So are you like sensing that he's going to choose you? Or your I think he's going to choose my mom. Uh huh. Because, like, she has crazy things happening to her all the time. Uh Very, very, like, you know? Yeah. In touch with all of that, so. So she, she's, it's calling her more. So, yeah, I actually met her, her friend today. Uh Uh-huh. We, like, went and got lunch with her, and she was like, yeah, she's gonna call out your mom. Like, she's, she's going to, or he's going to, he's going to, sorry. I think so, too. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. Oh, also, um, you know how I was doing push-ups? Yeah, so I like to do push-ups. Like, okay, so I randomly just sometimes need to get it out and just like do ten push-ups. <laughs> and so I decided I'm gonna do that every day now. Actually, yeah, wake up, bust out twenty push-ups, and do no. This is a nighttime activity for oh, me. Sorry, you're right. You're right. And also do a one minute plank. Wow, one minute plank, plank is pretty serious. I did one yesterday, last night. That's all, last night. Yeah, I'm gonna do it right after this. <laughs> yeah, I am. I am. That's not a joke. That's awesome, dude. Push ups on the knuckles is crazy. Yeah, but yeah. So maybe that's my recommendation. Start doing, start doing mm-hmm. little push ups and a little, and a little plank. Yeah, this is your uh, half halfway through the year New Year's resolution. Exactly. Exactly. And both of those things will take you a total of like two minutes. So, yeah, true. Depending on how fast you can do push ups. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Okay. So maybe I'm- even, maybe even shorter. Maybe yeah. just a minute and a half. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so there's this website that I showed on the very first episode called Gnod. Mm-hmm. We all remember Gnod. It's super, super awesome. Yeah. So there's a, another website very similar to this mm-hmm. um, called Every Noise at Once. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so give me any artist. Um 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 fiona apple i was trying to get into her like just the other day so then it, it's like today. okay she's art pop lilith piano rock dark pop gives you all these uh-huh things genres genres you click on one again it's like same kind of map thing okay the thing is you can click and it'll give you a little feeling of what you're getting into that's so cool yeah really cool and then you can like okay ah you can click this button that says scan and it'll just like pop some random ones okay um playlist like it'll give you it's made playlists for all of the genres and i'm telling you the genres are endless uh let me see how do they get there that's so cool 
Yeah, so you can click new and it gives you all of these, right? Uh-huh. And these are just albums. You can click and test them out. And then it gives you, like, on the side here, I mean, it gives you related genres. On the side, it gives oh my you God. Like, anything you could want. And then... You I feel like search. I would break my computer. <laughs> <laughs> you can search by country. It has literally every country. You know, you want Armenian music? Fine. It'll it'll get you some Armenian music. Yeah. It's just fabulous. It's got everything. That is so cool. Yeah. And, and I love that it gives you a little, like, sound of it. You know what I mean? Right? Yeah. Yeah. So... Uh, can I like, get this on here? Um, <laughs> the way that I found this was I looked up a website that was just um, fun, entertaining websites. Uh-huh. <laughs> it had Gnod and it uh-huh. had this one. I also just like the look of this website. It's very much like, yeah. it's kind of retro. Mm-hmm. Um, but I found some other ones too. What was this? I saved here. Oh. Yeah, this one's just kind of like sounds. Yeah. And like that one, what's that one keyboard one? Do you I, remember? Yeah, I lost that one. Yeah, I I don't think I have it up. There's but there's this- one where like you like your keyboard makes a bunch of different sounds. Mm-hmm. Anyway uh this one is fun too it's how stuff works this is just a science one but it's just like a yeah. bunch of articles history of the watt steam engine origins of the steamship uh arizona's grand falls gushed into life again all kinds of stuff if you ever feel like you want to get educated there's all kinds of uh, um speaking of bugs by the way <laughs> yeah. um I watched a video last night about spider silk Mm -hmm. and how it's like so strong and like such a crazy complex like structure and science scientists have been trying to um like artificially make it because Mm -hmm. like it could be used for so many things but it's so complex that it's hard to recreate because like Mm -hmm. you know it's like a you know and you can't really and you can't really farm spiders in a in an efficient way like it's not really attainable but it's spider silk is stronger than steel bro what i wonder yeah i mean that'd be like a crazy like plastic replacement too yeah yeah um what other websites did i find what to watch Mm just yeah we need that one (laughs) i know good way to just get watching that's like the hardest thing to choose when to watch yeah no Um, it is and finally oh i thought this one was interesting post secret so you have to literally mail in a postcard to this place and then they'll post it here um and it's just like all this crazy stuff she loved it's house. gpt chat gpt yeah bro <laughs> i thought it was chat gbt this <laughs> entire time jeez you've never used it no we can do a whole episode oh a- ai scares me i was thinking about that actually How earlier we we can do an AI episode. Yeah, yeah, we'll do we'll we'll get into that because I don't know, but it's just really freaky to me. Anyway, that's um, awesome though. I know. So you I just know. you just like put something, you just like make your own design on the front of a postcard and send it in. Yeah. Yeah, it can be anything. Well, that one is crazy. Hair of a wolf dog on a full moon, thinking it might help me to become a werewolf. I mean, that's literally us. That's a... <laughs> <laughs> those two babies. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like that's us. Ah, we have ten minutes. Um. <laughs> 
I mean, that's crazy. so much. When the fitting room attendant asks for it, I always lie and make one up. I always do that, but I love my name. Oh, oh, name. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I kind of you love make up, you. You make up one? Make up a name. Yeah. Interesting. And I know, and it's not how I pictured it at all, but that's real. Mm hmm. That's real. When I was little, my dad told me that polyester was a small animal in Australia and they would kill it to make clothes. Then and I sat in my room reading for labels of all my clothes for hours and threw away all the polyester ones. Uh, a video. Okay, that's crazy. I wish I'd turned 58 uh -huh. years ago. Life's more carefree. That like warms my heart. She pisses on your couch because you <laughs> broke my heart. <laughs> I feel like that dog's name is Daisy. Yeah. <laughs> Every time I sneeze while driving, I'm afraid I'll hit someone. True. I watch the toes of women in the stall next to mine to determine if they are sitters or squatters. <laughs> do you do that? Uh, not really. I do sometimes. <laughs> they think I like opera because I'm proper. They'd be shocked if they knew I like it because it sounds like an orgasm feels. I wish I would have been around more, especially when I was. Yeah. yeah, that like gave me the heebie-jeebies. I'm bad <laughs> in bed. <laughs> I just, I love them. I think they're fun. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, that's so cool. But they're like, some of them are silly, and some of them are like, like hurt you. Yeah, but. I don't know. I opened this a couple days ago and there have been no new ones. So maybe we should send one in. Yeah, maybe we should. Maybe we should That's send one in every really week. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, it, it we just take over. <laughs> yeah, and reveal them here. Yeah, we just take over postsecret.com. So just like keep an eye out for that, guys. <laughs> well, I think that's the end of uh, this episode. Mm -hmm. it's been fabulous it's been, i uh, think i'm really excited about the zoom format yeah this it's is fun. fun there's like so much opportunity it's fresh to have fun with it yeah all right and well. uh yeah that's pretty much it thanks for watching thanks for watching slash listening thanks for listening shout out la shout out la and and um <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Sarah. Bye, Serena. <laughs>